Good evening guys, got it right this evening, sorry about last night. Uh, 7.30 Friday evening, maybe 52 degrees Fahrenheit, gentle breeze, stopped raining, thought I'd go out for one hour. As you know, I restrict my videos to 30 minutes now. I don't want to bore people and hopefully one hour live. It's just too long, two, two and a half hours. It's not necessary, people get bored with it. Yes, we had it, the orientation set incorrectly last night. I locked it in the, inadvertently. Um, City Burnham, but it was raining heavy, so I was glad I went back. Uh, yes, and uh, I thought we had 18 within about three minutes. That's the first time ever. <laughs> so just my luck. I don't know why we had 18 in so quickly. Good signal. Everything's fine. Uh, let's have a look there on wide not ultra wide because it makes you look like you're running it's not necessary i don't normally come out friday or saturday because birmingham was a bit crazy on a friday and a saturday but it's just a little update i thought we would go uh perhaps down to colmore row see if there's some new trees and lights snow hill station back up to corporate corporation street or and around the um don't you start raining around by Jury quarter. You've seen the market several times. As you know, there's no signal in New Street, High Street, um, Digbeth, Chinatown, and, and going the road, going up to Cathedral. That's the only areas in the whole of Birmingham. Apart from that, we, you, we get a great signal, so we would never go live there anyway. And uh, just see what it's like. It's going to be crazy tonight, as you can see. Um, getting busy hope you enjoyed the tour of the apartment it's just to help people out painstakingly you know looking around dealing with agents there's some good agents and a lot of bad ones 90% of the properties in Birmingham are like anywhere they're not worth your time um, you know my feelings on Cortlands if you can afford it a one bedroom 1200 two of you working um, you shouldn't have a problem paying the rent uh, as you know, I supplement my rent with my life savings. So it'll last me a few years. I'm staying there. I'm going nowhere. Um, but the most important thing also, I, I know I've said it in the video, you guys have got to remember, um, I've had many horror stories. We all have. Certainly the seven and a half years I've lived in Birmingham, I've picked the three wrong places. I don't need to go into them. You know, you've heard about it from me. And finally, I got it right. So you might say, who am I to advise you to go to the correct place? Well, after 50 years and almost all the time picking the wrong places. Um, and you've seen the wonderful Portlands. It's just a magnificent place. Very quiet at the moment. It's only been open six or seven months. It takes time to fill out. I think it's well over 400 apartments. Still do work on the outside. That's why the skylight, you know, the lounge um, and the suite are they, they are open, but you can't go out onto the roof gardens and they are like an extension of the inside. They are beautiful. Not like, as I said the other day, the Mercian. I remember going out there. It's lovely in there. It's a lot more expensive. I met two guys the other day. They said they were paying 2,100 in here for a, look at that, um, one bedroom, no, two bedroom, but they're paying one seven where I am. So it's a lot better, isn't it? I mean, as you know, mine's 12.65. I just use 365 for my savings once a month. And uh, anything else I buy, coffee, whatever, it all comes out of my savings, but it's going to last me for a little while, as you know, the story. <laughs> Bought a house in uh, Almeria 15 years ago now. I sold it two years ago. I was there 13 years for 120,000, and that was my pension payer for life savings and I lost 60,000 I sold it for 60 yes I lost imagine working 50 years well actually I started work when I was seven years old would you believe guys I can remember I had three jobs it sounds crazy and uh, I worked for till I was 66 no 67 so 60 years and that was my life savings and then one short period I lost 50% of it really busy out here but hopefully it'll be okay we just go through 
Centene who's going obviously we have to to get to where we want to go um, jury quarter and then cut back uh, along the canals for you it's a bit cool but I've got the hat gloves scarf on hope everyone is well hello yes I am Yes, oh, hello. Thank you, sir. Yeah, have you, have you watched my channel, Birmingham Close Up? I, I watch Billy Moore. And oh, I yes. Watch Charlie Beach. All right. I watch all of them. Watch me then, subscribe, Birmingham yeah. Close Up. I will do. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. We don't need to go through Brindley Place. It feels a bit slightly wobbly, this. I think it's okay, though. Maybe I'm wobbly. Yes, it's quite cool, but um, the problem is when you first go out, you're cool, and then halfway around you start sweating. That's why, you know, it's a balance. You don't want to put too much clothing on, but you don't want to freeze in the first half hour of going out. I'm just going to check that this is in correctly, guys. I think it is. Yeah, just feeling a little wobble somewhere. It's usually quite good, the... I am one. We've got an excellent signal. Only two people in here, and that's okay. As I said last night, you know, when we came out for about three minutes, I had 18. That's never happened before. Isn't that ironic? And I had to stop 18. I normally get about 18 in the whole two hours of filming live. But the great thing about live is that um, you guys watch it when it's non-live. I will leave this up if we don't get buffing and nothing untoward happens. But if something untoward happens, or I need to edit, or we have buffering. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Where are you at? <laughs> um, I will take it down, and then I would have to send the copy from the photo album. It simultaneously copies one, which is always, that copy would be perfect. So we should see how it goes. What am I doing out on a Friday night? This is crazy. We haven't done this for a while though, have we guys? I'm only paying £10 unlimited phone calls. I don't do checks. And uh, which is 33 pence a day. Oh no, it went up 80 pence. Is that 37 pence a day? It's nothing. Um, so I, but I do get 30 gigabytes, but I never use them. Because I've got obviously Wi-Fi at home. Hello, my five viewers. I shouldn't be out on a Friday night. It is a bit like a drug though, once you vlog, any vlog will tell you, you, you always think, oh, well, I might pack it out, I'm tired. I've been doing it about three years and four months now. Um, and then you, it, it's a bit like a drug, I suppose, someone who exercises every day and then they stop. You think, oh, I could stop doing it, but then you miss it because it becomes a habit. Hello, join a Hindu, turn left. No, thank you. No, I cannot. I wouldn't know what to do being surrounded by all those ladies. <laughs> Turn left. No. No. Lucy. Nice evening. Been some terrible weather. As you know, we had the storms on Saturday. I wanted to go out. I didn't have any food, guys. And um, they said, oh, don't go out, Bernard. And I went out, guys. I've got 10 yards, and it blew me over. In, it's the strongest wind I've ever been out in in my lifetime. It blew me over um, early Saturday evening, maybe 6 o'clock. And I came back, and I had, I had two potatoes left in the um, fridge and... Uh, some tomatoes that was it <laughs> my Saturday evening meal well, there was a lot more than pot, what you know some people would have and anyway I, it was better to stay alive and not get um, hurt okay <laughs> sorry I get confused you know me sorry try to read the messages putting my head right back I hope everyone is well and I know you like these little tours around. I'm not going to London this month, guys. It would be crazy. You, I did one a couple of weeks ago, as you guys know. They do okay. The, um, the, that was my second Comic Con, and it's over 16, 
virtual 1700 views now. I did three 30 minute videos, so that went very well. Hopefully people enjoyed it. Sometimes you worry about the stats. I don't look at them now, guys, to be honest. I'm, it's a tiny channel and I'm aware of that. But if you, you think, oh, I've had, say, 500 views. But if you look at, and maybe it's true, I'm not saying it isn't, that how the average time those people in 500 people, say, for example, my last video, watch the video, say it's a 30 minute video. YouTube tells me the average time is 45 seconds. <laughs> I don't know if it's true, maybe it is. So, because once someone clicks on it, registers as, as viewing, and then, so I don't check them anymore because that's soul destroying. You know, if you think, well, the average time someone's watching 30 minute video, 500 tie, 500 views, say for example, guys, that means they came in and out almost immediately. And, that, and that's too bad, <laughs> that hurts. Oh my goodness. Why is this all closed? It must've been because of the storm. Oh no, no, yeah, because it wouldn't be closed till 10 o'clock. Oh, that's strange. Is, that, is this because of the strong winds we had? Sorry? Why is it closed? See the middle one there, the middle right? Yeah. There was an incident on that yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. So, that's why it's closed. Oh, on the chairs? Yes. Oh so my God. until we figure out exactly what happened. Oh my God. Have they hurt seriously? Um, two are potentially serious. Oh. Twelve others in hospital. You're joking? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that's terrible, yeah. isn't it? On those chairs. Oh my goodness. That's why we got this up until we figure out exactly what happened. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you very oh, much. Did you take it? Bye. Yes, there was two seriously injured and 12. Um, she said injured, she didn't say there's just two seriously injured. Oh, isn't that awful? On the swing in chairs there that is shocking i'm sorry to hear that guys i didn't want to swim. yes two in hospital and 12 were minor injuries and two she said in hospital serious injuries that is awful isn't it lucy oh it makes me feel a bit sick that does that's so sad i wonder if they should have the ice skating rink open though shouldn't they excuse me please because that's not part of it is it that is so, so unfortunate. Welcome my 12 viewers. Oh, that's not the stuff you know to me, guys. Sorry about that. It just makes me feel very sad. You've seen all this, so it, we're, the objective is to get over to a new area. But I need to come through here. I can't fly. I don't have any wings like Lucy. Or maybe she, maybe she has a broom. Oh, sorry, Lucy. Sorry, I didn't mean. I didn't mean that. Two arrested. Yes, they would be, wouldn't they? What a rotten thing to happen. People just enjoying themselves. Yes, this is still open. I used to skate when I was a teenager, not very well there. I fell around uh, the bend late at night. It always gets a little bit um, sort of water on the surface if you skate, because people have been skating on it for hours. And I joined, went over on my temple on my side and knocked myself out. And I broke up. I didn't take me to the hospital or anything. <laughs> I was only about, I don't know, 17, 18. Um, I came to after a couple of minutes, they said, and uh, I mean, the, I don't know if we were taken now. Just went out, just crashed out, knocked myself out. I was told it was very dangerous um, to have fallen on the, on the side of your head of the temple and, and, and you know, to be concussed. Well, I don't know, Lucy, I'm not an expert on on that, so I can't make any comment, to be honest. This is almost finished over here now. I think, 
see at the top there, guys, I think there's one more section to go. Just a small section. I don't know, next August, someone told me they've been held up um, with supplies and uh, some workforce or work, workforces have walked off. All sorts of things have gone on there. Uh, I don't know how they knew this, but uh, let's hope it does open next August. I won't be going there. I'm loyal to Portlands. I'm staying there. It's a privilege and an honor to live there. And I got all my furniture, guys. You know the furniture I showed you. I've only got one other item, guys. I don't know if I can show you. Look, I'm just going to do something, guys. Um, let's have a look if it's on there. I don't, oh no, I'm just messing around, forgive me, because I am, there's something you can do on here, um, but I'm not sure, oh no, it's not that one. So then again, oh, I don't know, I'm messing around, getting it wrong. <laughs> Go off. Um, might be this one, let me show you guys. No, it's not that one. I've not used this before. Normally you can get up um, photos and uh, I could have shown you something. Let's try this one again, more. Let's see if we can go into photos, no? Anyway, don't worry. I'll show you when I get it. It's coming from a company called Homery, but it's coming by ship. I think they're in China, but they are, they have, uh, they are based uh, all over the UK. It's a coffee table, it's really stunning. And that's the last item I need now. Um, but they said it's, um, on a ship at the moment but I ordered it a month ago so it's probably a rowing boat or the ship sunk um, but uh, there's no sign of it at the moment well George why don't you just give me the red dress and the four, is that, are they four or five inch heels George why don't you just give me those um, you know, once you bought this year, didn't you? And a few months ago, you told me in private. Oh, sorry, I've let it out now. Send those to me, as long as you dry clean them first. Oh, they've got some cakes in here now. It's never very busy in here, though. They have one by Grand Stone from the station, don't they? See that? And this stunning restaurant's open now. Um, this is lovely here, isn't it, guys? We can. I'll just show you this bit here, but I don't have to take you. It's going to be really busy through the Victoria Square. You've seen it several times. You'll get fed up with it. This is an amazing restaurant, isn't it? Not been open long. I shouldn't think it's cheap. James would know. Always click on the link if James does leave messages. My. Imagine putting all those bottles up there. How did they do that? Good to see you, George. I haven't seen you for a long time. You've been disloyal. Most of my New York, uh, Lucy has, um, Holly came in today. But most of them have disowned me, George. Isn't that beautiful there? Absolutely stunning. I know someone said show um, the uh, menu guys but that's difficult to, I know you think I'm being fussy it's difficult to focus and if I give you the name you can just google it so and you always find people um, oh they do have seating outside because you see you have a roof there uh, show you menus look at this isn't it stunning oh can you imagine putting all those bottles up there it's full up in there that's crazy isn't it that's amazing though. It's only been open about a month, I think. Good to see though. Yes, as I said, if, if you try to focus on menus, it goes in and out and you, you can, it's le, look, you've got the name there. So you can just Google and find out. I think it's probably out of my league. And these are lovely feature they put here, aren't they guys? It is romantic, George. Are you getting romantic with me? <laughs> and we've got lights here this is they're getting on with this now it's a 10 10 floor office block and to the right of it's going to be a hotel 
but that'll be three or four years. I remember coming through here 20 years ago. I can't believe it's 20 years ago. It was 20 years I was looking at apartments. It was the um, in Birmingham. I wished I'd bought one then. But because, unless you know Birmingham, I'm going to say something about you. I was bitterly disappointed coming here. Never been here before, 20 years ago. But unless you know Birmingham and know where to go, it's like anywhere, I suppose. You can be disappointed, but it's obviously changed in the last 20 years. But the, the apartments, they were, it sounds crazy, but they, they were at 19, I think it's 2000, yeah, 2004, probably. And that's hard, isn't it, for photo opportunity? And they were giving buy one, get one free. They had an overbuild. It was crazy. But now, of course, the price has gone through the roof. Isn't that romantic, George? You can cover your teddy bear, George. Walking green flag. You see? Photo opportunities there. Look at the crowds, guys. We do not have to go through there, as you know. Young ladies up Friday night. Let's cut through here, as promised, and uh, go the back way now. As you know, once we leave Victoria Square, we lose a signal anyway. Yes, yeah, so it's changed dramatically, Birmingham. I'm ashamed to say I didn't find the canals for three years. Isn't that an awful thing to say? But it just lets people know about the city. Gives you an opportunity. My videos are always, well, it's live now, probably once a month. You don't need any more than that. Guys, you get fed up, bored. You can't do live in London because of the signal. What they say it's the worst place in the world to broadcast live. I mean, Girl in Paradise would tell you that. And uh, try, as I said, I'm trying to stick to an hour tonight. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit over. It depends on how many people come in. And my non-live always 30 minutes now. The great thing about non-live, you can do 4K. You don't have to worry about signal or anything happens you can edit it, it out which I know I can do with a copy of this I've already told you oh dear um, but there are lots of advantages it's just really I always find guys I mean my, my subscriptions now my people subscribe I think 1304 they are um, let's go up here quite low I know it's a bit dark. They sort of almost stop, but if I do live, I normally pick up about 10. Now, I know your famous vloggers would laugh at that. They'd get that in about a millisecond. But it's better than nothing. So it does help as a PR. I can't get through the middle there. We're going in the dark now, guys, so forgive me. It's probably a lot lighter for you. My apologies for the um, noise in the 4k video indoors last night when I say noise it's that grainy picture I've not had that before I'm even when I put the lights on there they call it noise the technical term when you get that grainy if you zoom in too much you get a grainy picture but we shouldn't have got it when I put the lights on in the lounge I noticed we still had and it was in 4k I don't know what happened there nothing to do with me but uh, I try to um, you know, give it the best picture and sound. I'm not using an external microphone. I bought another one, as you know. Uh, would you believe DJI brought out a, a mini one now, version of the number two DJI microphones I sent back. Um, and it, I think it was, I bought it a couple weeks ago, 70 pounds. But we don't need it when it's not windy. But the other two thirds of the time when it probably is, I might have to use it. The only problem with that is, guys, this French restaurant at the top here. As you will, it will suppress the 
surrounding sounds. So that's why I'm not using it only when it's absolutely necessary. Go through here, have a drink, go up through the um, lift because they are offices all the way up. The, the top floor is the restaurant and uh, you go through there, through the lift, upstairs and uh, I think it's somewhere says 25th floor, am I correct? To the French restaurant at the top. And even when I came to Birmingham seven and a half years ago, back from Spain, this road has been a building site and the restaurant and the offices there, I have just shown you, they were not here. So this is just finished more or less. It's been under construction for this whole area for seven years. <laughs> pretty over here. I'm going to take you, I mean you have been a lot. Yeah I, I tell you what guys look you can see there you've seen that before Moore Street there's probably a, a tree down there. Oh no that's yes there's probably a tree we might be able to sneak in we'll go down there if we go a bit over it doesn't matter. Welcome my 17 viewers. Yes I, what I wanted to say is we either do live or the non-lives are usually posted as soon as I get home so you can get a, a video in 4k 30 minute non-live you'll always get it within a couple hours I posted last night and um, went through in seven minutes it's a super fast Wi-Fi and I have 200 speed upload six times as fast than when I where I just left um, so normally it can take between 30 minutes between four and eight hours and a one hour video 4k anything from eight hours to 24 but now i think it's going to be a lot quicker and the london ones i post obviously i have to get back to birmingham i did i always notice that I, I i normally do three and i post two when i get home so within um possibly six to eight hours of filming you'll get two in 4k and the other one probably the next day so if they're non-live they're almost live and we did one at victoria square this year i got home and you were watching 4k 30 minutes um within 30 minutes of filming so that's what i do on my channel oh right okay <laughs> i uh, don't like to hang on to videos so you're looking at almost live and live i know most vloggers the very popular ones they tend to post not all of them but most of them almost all of them they tend to post um a month behind i don't like to do that i like you to um talk about the ones who don't do live that they're non-live they normally post them a month behind uh, but they it is their profession they turn it into a professional sort of business but I'd, I'd ne I would never want to do that anyway and uh, I have a, the total freedom not having to mute for you destroying the videos and I had a lot of copyrights I've had hundreds but they're not strikes they're just copyright warnings telling you cannot monetize a video well I don't anyway and that can be um, retrospective so I heard of one blogger I think she was around eight years and then overnight she became very very popular and her videos were getting one million views per video so a lot of companies were making uh, claims on her channel because for the previous eight years when she hardly had any videos, uh, so I say view viewers, she, um, so busy here, yes, thank you. She uh, wouldn't have got any monetization anyway, but now that of course she used their music, they want their money, but I don't worry about that. So we have total freedom here. What if we got trees over there? Oh, well, they always have a nice one here. That's pretty, isn't it? Go see if the escalators are working. 
at Stone Hill. Sorry, haven't got time. <coughs> Another time. <laughs> it's not relevant at the moment. <laughs> that used to be an Asda. We were supposed to have an Asda uh, 20 months ago, as you know, just below the Mercy. And then, then across the road, three years ago, we were supposed to have a Tesco. They just, I don't know what it is about the area. So many new um, flats. Oh, look at the tree over here, guys, around the area that the Sainsbury's there just cannot cope with it. Then, of course, the roundabout you have um, dreadful Morrisons, most mismanaged shop I've ever been in. It's always totally disheveled. And then you have. The, I, I advise you guys, I never I never liked them before. Tesco's, I have to say, but the one by the roundabout, you know, that goes down to City Hospital. Uh, I have to say, I have to confess and correct myself. Excellent supermarket. Usually got loads of room, wide aisles, which is comfortable. And there's never, there's quite a lot of people there because it's such a big superstore. And the... Uh, the variety of products they have there, stunning. So if you can get over to Tesco's by the big roundabout, it's the road that goes down to the city hospital. Go there, guys, strongly advise you to go there. Oh, they have got the trees over there. I'll just show you that one. That's pretty, isn't it? There's a lot of decorations, George. You've just seen loads, what's wrong with you? We're not in Times Square, you know. This is always here. We're not. Don't be miserable, George. We had two trees over here last year, but they are economising. I'm going to put in a complaint. I came here. Yes, we had one either side. They got a twig the other side. Yes, George, I can give you lots of lights, but we've just left the area. We are going exploring. Just here, you see, they had a Christmas tree last year and one here. I love Christmas trees. I don't know why, it just brings out the um, child in me. Look, George, you can see lights. Yes, I know the council's bankrupt, but the Christmas trees has nothing to do with the council, is it? <laughs> in private um, developments or buildings. The Grinch, what's that, the Grinch? I do know what happened at the fair. No, I just know, don't want to dwell on it. Sorry, Grinch, I found it very upsetting. Two were in hospital, seriously injured, and 12 had minor injuries. That's all I know. It was on the swinging chairs. So let's pray for them and hopefully they will make a full recovery. But uh, it uh, makes you feel very sad and I mean that sincerely I care passionately about people I never like to see anyone get hurt I remember once or twice in my life I've just seen someone tripped uh, you know tripped over on the curb or something I didn't get injured but it ma makes me feel sick <laughs> I just hate to see anyone getting hurt but if I see someone walking along you know they're really hobbling it just makes me so sad. Good evening from Spain, Graham. Must be what in Spain? Are you an hour ahead, I suppose? Oh, you'll be getting ready for bed now, Graham, knowing you. Hey, nine o'clock. Is it nine o'clock in Spain? Hey. It's dark there now. Good job you were not here, Graham, during the storm on Saturday. It's the worst one I've known in my lifetime. The strong winds. Imagine, George, if you had your washing out on the line and it blew away. Here are George, lights. We've been around here. 
Oh yes, it's wonderful, isn't it, Graham? It's really incredible. I'm so happy there. That's my last move, Graham, at my age. It uh, took me a long time to find the right place and certainly never expected to be living in anything like that in my life. I'm going to undo my scarf, guys, because I've got hot now. Yes, not in my lifetime. I thought that would never happen. And when you go up to the uh, Sky Suite and the um, I've got a Sky Lounge and a Sky Suite. I couldn't show you the suite last night because there's someone in there. I didn't want to disturb them. But you did see the smaller version, the Sky Lounge. And uh, the views are spectacular. You can imagine 35 floors up across Birmingham City. I mean, if you, if you had those views in London, in an apartment or New York, you would have to be a millionaire and I'm just a poor man with a little bit of savings and I said I got 60,000 back out of my disastrous purchase in Spain after 13 years you were told Al Maria oh, you'd sell it for twice as much so that would have given me 240,000 I ended up with 60 but I have to tell you oh I, I just wanted to Oh yes, we can't really go in here because you won't get a signal that's very busy in there. I don't know if the signal's going to drop here, actually. I think we might be alright. We are on our way now to Jewelry Quarter, okay? I know it is not a lot of lights there, George. <laughs> I wouldn't, George, I wouldn't. So let's get... Oh dear. Glass is going everywhere, bottles. Get away from here. Signal's okay at the moment, I think. Uh, welcome, my 22 viewers, Friday evening. Uh, it's after 8 o'clock. We've been on, oh god, 37 minutes. Well, we might be. We might be another hour, guys. We've got to get to Jewelry Quarter, have a look around there, see if the, we can find some trees. Um, it's just a different area. Wander around live on a Friday night. What more could you want? <laughs> Please shut up. That's what you want. I know. I'm not going to. We don't do silent videos on here. We have 99% of them this style of video are silent and I know some people prefer those but I don't so I always say if you want a silent video there are millions on YouTube you can go and watch or you can mute me <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time I've been muted so I'm going to get uh, I think we want to go right here yes so we get over to a recorder cut back along the canals and hopefully finish at Brindley Place. It's really beautiful there, which is three minutes walk from where I live. Funny thing is, guys, I've lived in at the bank, as you know, I lived at the canals and, uh, and I'm now in my new apartment and they're within three minutes walk, each apartment. <laughs> I mean, three minutes walk and that's six years, that's covered six years. A wonderful restaurant over here, yeah? Indian restaurant. This one, I guess. You see that one? And this is here. We've got a lot of traffic around, guys. Lots of traffic. Trying to be careful. Yes, we go straight down. But it's a wonderful building, is isn't it? You remember the first couple of years we used to go to Liverpool, Lee, we didn't go to Leeds, York, that was a disaster. Um, Wolverhampton, I went to West Brom, uh, Liverpool several times, uh, Coventry, Northampton, um, um, Manchester, but they were all, people didn't really want to watch the videos guys, that's why I have stopped it. You know, I'm a bit of Birmingham City 
and London usually once a month but certainly not this month some more lights for you George look isn't it pretty Got a lovely restaurant down here on the left they're usually very friendly and uh, just getting back to what I was saying I do digress that's a massive disadvantage of live for example you might think oh why didn't you go in going into a building is almost a no-no almost totally oh, I can't believe that there used to be a restaurant here how sad it was here for years oh it just makes me so am I wrong though oh I think I might am I at the wrong street I, th I don't think so here bar restaurant leisure look it's closed Oh, what a shame. It would, you've seen that on my videos, guys. It's beautiful inside. It's gone. Those grand doors there. Aren't they grand? There's another one gone. Got to show George the um, lights, otherwise he gets sad. I think, I say, I think the video, you guys would tell me. Yes, when I am at home on my own, I find very comforting when people, and I know quite a few of you, very kind about that, like uh, narration, you know, people, that's important to me, and it's not me. Don't hold piece of the paper. I haven't googled anything. I just, it just comes out. <laughs> I'm not even aware. Sometimes, uh, and I like it. It's comforting to watch at home on your own. Look at this traffic. So Birmingham's been under construction over two decades since I've been coming through here um, in 2000 going to the Symphony Hall from Cheltenham um, or Lincoln I used to live in also so 2000 um, 2004 difficult the cars are not going anywhere thank you Go for you. Right, quickly, quickly. And there's someone called, I will mention her name, I've just got 15 years, 636,000, goes abroad a lot. Um, I don't know her real name. Watch her ch London channel, she also has now. Got about 10,000 on there. She lives just outside London, I think. I'm not sure how far. I know she has mentioned it's taken an hour to get into London um, on the outskirts, but I mean, I can get the train um, hour and 21 minutes. I think there's one even faster, an hour, hour and 11 minutes. But I normally get the slow train to London, two hours and uh, 11 minutes, and then I come back on the fast one of the Avanti and if I book a couple of weeks in advance I get it for £16 return I got a £30 yearly pass my age um, so I get a third off but even you would get it for £24 that's not bad and I noticed last year went to London I think we went eight times yes and I saved £65 by having the pass, so it was worth it, and it cost me 30 so it's still £35 up. But if you wanted to use it as many times as you would like to, you can always get a third off. And this is where I came seven and a half years ago. And I stayed at St Paul's Place, 
uh, just off St. James Street, if you know Birmingham City. And uh, used to be a really large engineering factory there. You guys probably go from Birmingham. But it was a nightmare. I was on the side road. And would you believe it, guys? I mean, it's 6.50. It's a nice little treat, isn't it? That's pretty in there. I think I've seen those guys in there. They're really friendly. Yeah, 6.50. That was seven and a half years ago. For one room. Indicate. Well done. That's lovely here. Let me just show you. Oh, there's a lot of people in there. I won't go in there, but isn't that pretty? They, they, the staff in there are very friendly. Another tree, George. And then the bank was 800. Now I've gone through the roof, but as you know, I'm not bore you with it. I'm using my savings and it's well worth it. I have no intention of moving. I will completely exhaust my savings and I'm pretty sure it will last me. That's for sure. I'm, I'm an old man now, so I should be okay. Got that, as you know, the 60 from Spain. It's funny, guys, you might think, oh God, you know, he worked 60 years and he saved 120,000, which is like 2,000 a year. I mean, it's, it's nothing, is it? And that wouldn't buy even a shed in Birmingham. It wouldn't buy anything, the 120. But the 60 has allowed me to live where I am. So I'm very, very happy about that. And when I got the money back, it was 58 actually, so I lost 62,000. Uh, well, actually, it was, I, I tell you, it was 65. I'll go 65,000, but the crooked Spanish bureaucracy they bleed you dry. Now on a £120,000, oh no, sold it for 65 in England, guys. What would they take? Is it about 2%? Am I right? Sorry, you've got to wait here, guys. Yes, you'd probably, I think, is it one and a half? You might pay a grand, wouldn't you, uh, to sell your property? Then you've got solicitor fees. They took from me. 7,000 guys. I tell you, I, I'd strongly advise you, I don't care what anyone says, do not buy a house in Spain uh, if you think you're going to sell it. So they took 7,000 euros from me. It's near, no, it worked out 7,000 pounds. There's something called plus value. Um, even though your property is depreciated by uh, 50%, according to the Spanish law, the, gr the ground it's built on would be worth more, so we tax you on it. <laughs> Isn't that a con? Isn't that a con? <laughs> I ended up, no, it was 7,000 euros, so I got 58,000 euros. That was it. And then I um, left the money in the bank account for several years, and they were charging me 350 euros, guys, a year to have a bank account, even though I wasn't using it, and they wouldn't let me transfer my money. I mean, could you believe that? Um, impossible isn't it now yeah it's just a nightmare so I lived up there the building at the end I know it puts it out of focus there seven and a half years ago oh, we've got a nice tree here let's go in into the cathedral grounds but I did like this area I have to be honest with you um, I think they're about 850 now guys if you want to rent uh, one bedroom apartment, not apartment, studio in, oh it's so dark, it's all muddy, sorry, excuse me. Yes, one bedroom is about 850, even 900 now in there. It's one room, uh, the, 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 I've noticed online if I look, they were built 12 years ago by two brothers, they've retired now they let's go this way put the cheapest furniture in the world in there because they knew they were going to sell them they flipped them over a two-year period like evicted everyone uh, and sold them off privately to individual 
owners, or some of them, like the one I lived in, the doctor he owned four. And they had a footstool, two footstools, and a small round glass table, probably worth, bought it for 20 quid. A bed that collapsed every night, a mattress that should carry a health warning. One of those artificial two-seater leather sofas, uh, artificial one, that sort of crumbled and fell to pieces every time I sat on it. And they called that furnished. And in the bedroom, you had a triple wardrobe actually, which was useful. There's not a lot up there. So let's just walk down here. And I've noticed even from photographs, so the furniture wasn't fit for purpose. Looking at apartments available there now, they are still using the same furniture. And that's disgusting. And they're about 850. And you had a very small living room. So, and they're very badly built as well. The partitioning, I mean, all the skirting board used to fall off. The wall needed painting. The fridge kept you awake all night. Oh, and a, a man who lived on the other side, a Greek, and he was from Greece. He said, have you just moved in? And I said, oh yes. He said, well, I lived on your side for the first year. He said, it's uninhabitable. And I said, what do you mean? He said, um, you get full sun from sunrise to sunset and it's unbearable there. And this was summer seven and a half years ago. It was the hottest June, July on record, apparently. And it was over 100 yeah. degrees in there at night. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Here are George, you wanted some lights. Hey, George. You are funny, isn't that stunning? Lovely Italian restaurants. So I live just up here. And then when I moved um, six years ago, they demolished this really large engineering company. Look, that drove me nuts for 17 months I lived here. It was 24 hour engineering factory. And you had two small windows that you wanted to open because it was 100 degrees in there, as I've told you. But if you opened them, you listened to the factory machines 24 seven. So that's, that's what I did when I came back from Spain. It was just, I desperately wanted to leave Spain. Um, so that's what happened. So they demolished this about three years ago. James would know, it's gonna be a huge development and uh, nothing's happened, if you know the area. See the rubble there? It's been demolished and like that for at least three years. Very posh restaurant there, the sun. And I lived opposite it, just up there not the grey windows, to the left of there. Horrendous. Absolutely, I've taken my hat off now. Oh, it's so hot. I'm going to put you guys down in a minute, and I'm going to have a drop of water and a couple of minute break. But I'm putting my hat in my bag at the moment. So the development goes all the way around here. But James would probably watch this video and tell you exactly what's happening here. But it was supposed to happen five years ago. But nothing's happened. It's really strange. It's a lovely area few nice restaurants, uh, a couple of pubs, nightclub, I'll see if I can show you uh, in one or two of them. It's still part of the development, all these flats here. But they were very badly built. And as usual, well, apart from where I am now, 
the most horrendous management company there. So all these things that one goes through when you rent, we've all got our horror stories. I've probably got more than most. Uh, going to Cortlands, you were so all those. And I stand by that, the manager's superb. And you won't have to worry about anything. Now that, as far as I'm concerned, is invaluable. So forget about everything else. Glamorous, and this is a wonderful hotel here. Yes, I haven't mentioned it before, but we haven't been around here for a couple of months. Probably 80 pounds a night, book in advance for two. Block, 10 minutes walk into the center, guys. You want to come to Birmingham? You'll be amazed how beautiful the rooms are. I wonder if I can check. No, he, he might not. Might just be the night watchman on there. And there's a beautiful pizza, award-winning pizza restaurant here. Look, it's full up. And that, oh, look, he's making pizza. And used to have a little a cafe here. You see, look. So that is a, and you have a restaurant here where you could get a coffee and buy some food and things, but it's closed now. It's not, was part of the same um, restaurant there, but they don't use it as a shop now or coffee bar. I used to sit outside there and have a coffee seven and a half years ago. Oh, when you get old, you always remember things and go back. I wasn't young then, but, uh, and here, what street are we in? I can't remember. This lovely building, the, it's been restored, as you know. Isn't it stunning? I love to see restorations completed. For the restoration and then conversion of this former workshop by Jan Arkwright and Malcolm Kirkham. 2019. Isn't that beautiful? Some wonderful buildings in Birmingham. This is Mary Street because I could see it on my left. Old oh, restaurant here. Oh, look at the kitchen. Only two people in there. Pull up. All the restaurants. Where's the Christmas sort of season, isn't it? Oh, look at the condensation on the window. Sorry guys, I can't show you. Not, we're only 15 minutes from the canals, guys, and then we get over to Brindley Place and say good night. And I said, one hour, and it's all, 58 minutes already. Naughty. But welcome my 20 viewers, Birmingham City, or, or just outside, Jury Quarter, 8.30. Uh, Oh, let's have a little walk around. We haven't done walkies for about a month, am I right? Someone said to me, what am I, was it Silverback? Said I got into hibernation. I've done seven videos. This will be eight in a month. I mean, a lot of your popular vloggers, they do one, one a month or, although I'm, I'm not, I'm a tiny, one a month or one a week. Well, it's pretty over there, isn't it? Glaze room. Yes, one a month or one a week. I mean, this is eight in a month, so I'm not doing too bad. Oh, yes, George. Do you remember I showed you this last time? George has probably gone, and uh, you wanted to, all the details for it. And I got them. I wrote, I, they're at home. I'll send them to you. George. Yes, you, I know you had your eye on the white one. No problem, George. It will keep it private, though. I won't tell anyone. Otherwise, they might get the wrong idea about you. Oh God, I've told everyone, haven't I? Oh no, Caroline Street. God, listen to that noise. I think we can hear you in your huge, pretentious four-wheel drive. It's so ugly, and it's making a lot of noise. And there's a pub here, a pub restaurant. Uh, I got these bottles in the windows. Oh, it's called the Rolling Mill. Isn't that nice? 
the rolling mill. They have a bag outside. Oh, look at the tree. Isn't the tree pretty? Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Restaurants everywhere. Here we are, George. Some more lights. Look. You said there weren't any lights. It's probably better. Oh no, we'll get it. Keep over here. So it's a really nice, quaint area. Famous for obviously. Why it's called the Jury Quarter. Sorry, I did. I nearly fell over then. I can't believe the restaurant there. Has it gone? That, that was so popular in there. That's weird. Looks like another one. Brunch. What's it called again? Let's have a look. Oh, Paradiso. If you Google that, guys, it looks like it's gone. Oh my goodness, things happen so quickly. That's pretty, isn't it? We buy gold. So lots of buyers, gold buyers and jewellery stores obviously here. It's always busy in here. It's just a cafe. Uh, I think they've got one by the cathedral. Am I right? Same company. It stays open really late. I don't have coffee. It used to be uh, an out very much these days, guys. You know, four pound now, cappuccino. If you, you know the, um, Ellen L N N in being open is it about six nine months? Um, it's like twelve to fourteen pounds for a slice of cake or a small cake, very small cake, and the coffee and the service charge. It's probably nearer fourteen than twelve, and I just think that's outrageous. Um, so coffee and cake used to be a luxury for me, but uh, it's a sort of a no-go now because I just think. And yet the LN and it's being open, let's say nine months, approximately. It's still full up every day, although you don't see the queues outside very rarely, but it's always full up in there. Yes, I know you can call me a miser, but I'm afraid 14 pounds for a slice of cake and a cup of coffee is a little bit rich for me. So occasionally I go for a coffee, but not very often because I make it at home and it's much better. Although I did enjoy the luxury just going out, you know, and, um, but where I am now anyway, I've got such wonderful views. And I went up to the Sky Lounge yesterday. Uh, not, no, the Sky Suite, the bigger one I couldn't show you. And it, I was the only one there. I think, you know, there's not many people in the uh, building at the moment, which is a wonderful time to live there. Uh, here are George. You tell me there aren't any lights. Yes, and it was, um, well, I'd be honest with you guys, I got very tearful. I just, as I said to you earlier on, to have a view like that, although it was foggy, <laughs> so you couldn't see anything. <laughs> I've only lived there 10 days, we've had nine foggy days. And we're so high up. So it cost me, I mean, just sitting there looking in the sky lounge, we had some view. It was such a privilege. And I don't take it for granted. And an honor. And this was here last year. And this was here last year. I think that's lovely, isn't it? I'd like something like that in my bedroom. Wouldn't you, George, at home, have that in your bedroom? Wouldn't it be wonderful? <laughs> if you've got enough room. Let's the old man get down the stairs now. Do 
you know those bikes or the electric bikes they are so expensive i think i worked out the not the electric ones the e-bikes if say you were two of you and you didn't have a bike and you went in the summer you wanted to go out at eight in the morning till four in the afternoon to unlock it and it would cost you 96 pounds it's criminal and yet london guys if you're from london they are much much cheaper it's about um I, I can't remember offhand, but I think it's probably one sixth of that for the same period in London to hire a bike, although I wouldn't want to be cycling in London. You probably would only do it once, you wouldn't be around. Oh, another tree, George, come on. You said there weren't any lights. What are you talking about? Yes, 96 pounds for a pedal cycle, not the e-bikes. That's um, from 8 in the morning till 4. What do you think about that? I think it's, it, I think it's disgusting. I, I wrote to them. But uh, it's not run by the council. It's a private company. There is some wishy-washy answer why. Oh, they're always reviewing their prices. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, this is lovely in here, isn't it? I won't put it directly on the look. So it's... I think it's a Greek restaurant. Oh, Turkish. My apologies. Oh, it's full up. Everyone getting into the um, Christmas spirit. We've got a walk down here along the canals, which I know you guys love. And then I'm going to take you to Grinley Place. We haven't seen Holly, although she did send me a message today. What's the time in New York now then? Must be about 20 to 4 in the afternoon so people probably still at work yes I used to get uh, Fernando doesn't come in Patrick nobody now Holly does George we haven't seen George for a long time but it's, it's great to see George today <laughs> I've never had a mirror on the ceiling George what's it like I wouldn't want to see myself in the mirror. Certainly not from that angle. Good grief. And uh, I've lost my track. I forgot what I was saying now, George. You've <laughs> not that it matters. Regent Street. Lovely pub there. They have a roof garden. There, you see, I, I've, I've shown you inside there. It's still open, I don't think the roof garden's still open. <laughs> Welcome, my 20. Oh, it's still on 20. That's better than nothing. Oh, thank you. No problem. Thank you, sir. Hello, guys. Whoa! Hiya! What are you up to? Hiya! Having a good evening? Yeah, thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the boys out together, about eight of them, eight or ten of them. I was never, when I was young, I wasn't against it. I always got on much better with uh, purely platonic, of course, the opposite sex, you know. I, I never had sort of male friends, guys probably think I'm weird I had female friends and and my but my male friend used to say oh, I don't believe in platonic relationships how can you have a platonic relationship with such a beautiful friend and I, I would say um well it's quite easy actually you know that they are a person a human being they don't just look at um, the opposite sex as some sort of object sex object they are great company I, I just always enjoyed female company. It's like the um, apartment, you guys, you know. I, that was always something I wanted all my life. The Argent Centre. And I finally did it at my old age. I mean, I don't own it, but I'm going to feel as if I do. And I've taken stuff out of, as I showed you by the bed, those things, they were in a briefcase, um, briefcase, a suitcase for 30 years. So I'm not, uh, but I've not furnished or bought anything um since it's 22 years 
and now I feel like I have a home and, and it's wonderful and it, and it was always the most important thing to me even when I was very young that that was more important you could give me a hundred Ferraris and even all the money in the world it sounds silly because then you could buy places but I mean, none of that mattered to me it was always if I could have my and I'm treating it as my own home <laughs> he's gone past and he slammed his brakes on these he's turning left God, I was lucky there he saw me I mean he was he was three quarters past the road you can see that BT tower from everywhere he was three quarters past the road and uh, slammed his brakes on he was just going to swing around thank God he didn't Oh, hello, Tommy. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in here. Oh, it's dropped from 20 to 10. <laughs> what did I say? A great tour, thank you. It's my pleasure. Maybe it's because I said I prefer no female company. Oh, I didn't mean it, guys, come back. <laughs> it's dropped from 20 to 10. Oh my goodness. Oh dear, story of my life. I thought it was a nightclub down here. Oh, taboo. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if it's ever open anymore. Let me know in the link below, guys. No, it's no menu. Oh, it was so beautiful in there. You couldn't go in there live. I was right last time. Taboo. Another one. So we've seen three, haven't we? Close. We went downstairs. It was really beautiful. But I did read reviews. Stunning inside cubicles. The bar had live entertainment. There were lots of reviews about um, the food not very good and how long it would take to get your food and they went in groups and there were many many negative reviews so it's gone thank you it's my pleasure oh it's gone up to 17 again they must have come back i do i like men really so <gasps> there must have been 10 men disappeared so I, I, anyway as i was saying i digressed again yeah so i've always had female company in my life as purely platonic not not you know partner, not uh, I was married twice never had any children see that's what I do on my channel it's up to everyone whatever they do I'm frank with you I'm honest we don't uh, do anything melodramatic it, it, I try to be honest all the way through we don't um, uh, we film for you it's your channel um, but as I said the two things you can do if people don't like Duration. I love it when I live on my own. I don't feel so lonely. Um, you can mute or you can go to another ch channel. And I don't mean go. I wouldn't want you to go. I love to listen to people nattering in the background. There are quite a few. There's one in New York, famous one, but I won't mention his name. He has enough viewers. I mean, someone came at the Ger German Frankfurt Christmas market uh, recently. And we had a couple of hundred views, didn't we? I'm not sure how many now. And uh, he filmed something that was very unpleasant and he even put it in the thumbnail. Uh, and even the wording description is something very undesirable. It was just something I would never film for you. Family channel. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to do that just to get viewers. Now this is what I'm going to say to you. So it was just very unpleasant. It was a couple of people fighting. Oh, I'm running. Oh, going to have a fight. And then it was photograph them and put them in the thumbnail. And 58,000 views in 24 hours, guys. But that's what it's like, YouTube. Uh, that's what people want, but they're not going to get on my channel. Um, you've got a lot of professional people crossed over to YouTube. You've got um, people who do it, and I'm not criticizing. They just do it from money train. I'm not going to do that. I don't want anything from anyone. I would rather give than take. And probably about 30% do the style of video I do. And hello. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm getting some lovely comments. You're so kind, all of you. It means the world to me when you say that. Yes, so the 30% that do my style of video. 99% are silent and uh, I don't get it I, honestly guys I'm, I'm sorry but um, I love it when they 
walk around and uh, they give you descriptions. I mean, some of them actually put, um, must take them hours as the video is going on. Don't say a word, hide behind a the camera. They want to remain completely anonymous. That's fine, they're prerogative. But they put writing all the way through the video. So you, you're trying to read the writing and the video passes you by, which I don't like. So it, it, this is, this is, when you come into my videos, this is what we do, the real world. I mean, majority of people don't like it, obviously. That's why I only have 1,300 subscribers in three and a half years. But that's how it's always going to be. Little doggy there, it's very dark. Can't really see, guys, but... Just let that... Um, isn't that lovely look? Maybe just walk on a bit. They don't want to feel someone walking directly behind them in the dark. I'm always very conscious of things like that. We can see that anywhere, can't you? But if you look out my apartment, the BT Tower looks tiny now. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, and it's also, I should have said where I am, it's dog friendly. So, that's very important to people. Lots, I've seen quite a few dogs there. And I did leave a message. We have a WhatsApp at Cortlands. And I left a message for any, anyone would like me to look after their dog for a few hours. They want to go out. I would dog sit, no charge. I adore dogs. I said it can be spontaneous as well, but you'd have to send me a message don't come and knock on the door because I always have my noise cancelling headphones on so I would not hear you. Funny that, but I've done it. <laughs> you can see, George. You're older. <laughs> yes, yeah, so... I don't wear them as much now for the first time in my life because it's so quiet there. But I still put them on. I mean, I'm not deaf, but I have a slight problem with my ears, so... The Bose noise cancelling. Oh look, I've not seen that. It's not unusual. Oh. Uh, these are new apartments here. Yes. Anyway, thank you. We've got 18 in now. That's wonderful. I haven't had any people take me up on my offer, but you know, it's like they might want to go out for dinner and they don't want to leave their little dog alone. Some of them are puppies. So I thought it was a nice thing to do. Just buy me a bottle of um, Verve Clico. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I, do, I said no charge have a dog for two or three hours, they can go out and have dinner and don't have to worry about it. Um, I think that was a nice offer. I don't know if anyone would want me to. Um, you know, especially young puppies. That people are very protected of them, aren't they? Oh, I can't see a thing, George. Oh, it's all bumpy as well. Cobbled stones. Oh, where are we? Oh. It's lovely now, under done the scarf. I probably could have done without my jumper now, but that's always the way. Don't forget guys, I'm going to say very quickly, if you know anyone who's looking, because at any one time, you've probably got several thousand people looking for the perfect home in Birmingham City, am I right? Certainly hundreds, several hundred. And uh, if you know anyone, I'm not getting paid for it. Please pass it on, the video. It's not to get lots of views on my channel. I've gone past that now, I'm not. I like to get views, I like to get people coming in. It's wonderful, I really appreciate you, but it's to help someone find a beautiful home 
I said two of you paying 1200 a month. I'm afraid that's the average rent now in Birmingham. You should be able to afford it, even if you're on um, the average wage. You know, that was it, 11 pounds something now, two of you working. That would probably be 50% of your uh, income, but that leaves you 50%. Uh, it's a lot better than the position I mean. Um, so just let them know, tell them. Uh, I'd very much appreciate that. And you'd save them a lot of heartache and uh, a lot of problems uh, and just horrible uncomfortable oh you can't go up there i was going to go up there for a view but oh you might be able to i think you might be able to yes yes they, they've got something you know it's the first time guys i've ever been here and they've had something on here my god this is so wet you shouldn't be holding on to the rail, but I need to, because I get wobbly. Yeah, Utilita Arena. I think it seats, am I right? 15,000 guys? We were going to have the Eurovision Song Contest here, but it went to Liverpool, and they did a wonderful job. Yes, first time I've seen this open. Liverpool has some magnificent uh, buildings, as you know, by the dock area, Docklands. It's absolutely stunning. And if you want to go to Liverpool from Birmingham, a couple of weeks in advance again, you get really cheap tickets. Very friendly city. It's true what they say. I think I went five times last year and the year before. And Travel Lodge, they've got about five in the centre. Stay in the one by the, um, where the docks are, down in Dockland area. And if you book, I think it's Sunday to Thursday, you can get it for about 30, I'd seen it £32. I've had it for £32. And they're lovely ruins, very modern travel lodge. It's a 10 minute walk from the station. And if you book the same room Friday or Saturday night, it goes up to over £200. Can you believe that? So go Sunday to Thursday, preferably Monday to Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. A couple of weeks in advance, you'll get a room between 30 and 40 pounds. A little bit of a breeze now. Oh, oh no, it's not. Oh yes, that's all closed off, guys, look. Do you remember we normally go in there? That's probably because they've got something on and they've... It's security, maybe. We usually go right over there. Oh, transmission, don't believe that. Okay, guys, we've got a bit of buffering. Let's get away from here. That's the first time, can't be bad, can it, on a one hour? Oh, it's gone up, yeah, 23. It's just by there, so maybe some technical equipment or something we came across. I'm not going to um, delete this video and post the other video uh, which is a copy which is perfect for sake of a few seconds buffering that's gone right up from a hundred to four thousand guys would you believe that in seconds so let's just go back now to Brindley place if Holly came in because she loves the sound of water we can say goodbye and uh, yes yeah, so it's going to be about one and a half hours I mean I'm trying to keep it down to an hour not because it's too much work for me it's because sometimes I think certainly the I can totally control the pre-recording now to 30 minutes 
but live it's a little bit difficult because it's a slightly spontaneous route well it's not some of it was planned but it takes longer than what you anticipate but hopefully you don't mind that we're getting down the steps now so we're very wobbly Has anyone ever been into the Utilita? I wonder, because I must go sometime. I was going to see the Cirque du Soleil a couple of months ago, but I I never made it. I feel like I'm serving command tonight. You are, mate? Am I? I've not been there and put the blocks away. They got the little um, bollards up there. This must be some, someone very important. Security everywhere. But yeah, 1,200, not all in. I mean, you, it, it's everything you saw in the video, if you watch the video, you know, all that. If you watch the video, um, it'll tell you everything. I mean, you get free Wi-Fi, super fast. You have to pay your electricity, which I would think would be minimal. They've even got security in there, so. And you have to pay water rates, which is minimal, seven Trent. Uh, obviously, if you have a phone, that's your own personal. That's it, no gas. Because it's such high-tech building, you'd hardly have a electricity bill, be minimal. As I said the free super fast Wi-Fi is all in, and everything else that I showed you in the video, uh, if, you, if you've seen it, which is invaluable. And the most important thing, I'm, go I'm going. Sorry. You're not allowed to film the building, unfortunately. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> That's a complete load of rubbish. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Not allowed to film the building. No. This is a public place, that's nonsense. They get a little bit carried away when they're put on their little uniform. You're not allowed to um, film the canals if you're telling me in a minute. <laughs> Which is Oh yeah, so as I said, that's it. Everything you see, and also the other thing which I did mention earlier on, which is invaluable. You don't have to worry about any problems whatsoever because the incredible staff there, management, Cortland's American company, they, they would deal with anything, any problem. As you know, they put a bed from, because my other bed didn't come, you know the story into my apartment for six days it was a huge bed two men brought it um it wasn't easy for them and as soon as my bed came they did take it away and two other guys arrived and i gave them something obviously but they you know you didn't have to pay them and they put my new bed up um, as i said it would have taken an hour and a half but it did i could not have done it Well, you're absolutely right. Yes, they wiped it soft. It's a public place. I've been in Birmingham seven and a half years. I've never heard. I was here, guys, put my phone, filming the fountain, on this pocket sized tripod. And the security came running across here and said, You're not allowed to film uh, using the tripod. I said, You can hardly see it. It fits in my pocket. And. I said, I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. I said, you're absurd. And uh, he said, oh, you can pick it up with the tripod and film. This was here, exactly here, guys. But you're not allowed to put it on the ground. Have you? And but yes, I wish they would learn. Now, I'm not being rude about the gentleman. Um, oh, I, sorry, I, I can't, sorry, I can't talk to you, okay? No, I'm in a public place, I can't talk to you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Please come back to me. 
Oh my goodness. Sorry about that guys. Yes, he's not very bright. He's on his little walkie talkie and he wants to ask me a question. And now I'm in a public place. Well, it's a friendly place, I know this, but that's privately owned. This is it, guys. I'm just going to show you around here. <laughs> yeah, I should have, shouldn't I? Oh, I'm not really annoyed, but as um, you said, they should learn the law. You cannot film the building. And now I'm uh, miles away where you saw where I was, and he said, I need to ask you a question. I need to, no, go away, you idiot. They're all part of um, something. Look, there's cameras everywhere. People are just taking photographs. There's cameras everywhere. They got their mobile phones out. Those two guys there. Yes, George. That's it, guys. What do you think? I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say what a wonderful walk. One hour and 31 minutes. God bless all of you. Thank you for joining me. What a, I'm sorry about the little disturbance we had just then by the idiot, um, but you know, we have to be patient with them. Uh, thank everyone, George, all of you, God bless all of you for joining me tonight. Very much appreciated. Oh, hello, Mark. If you pass Celebrity Restaurant, some of my friends are having a meal in now. Oh, I'm going to finish it here, Mark. It's an hour and 32 minutes. Yes pleasure so sell Lucy all of you you are wonderful thank you so much next time I shall I will I push him in the fountain silly man <laughs> spot the last few minutes well I didn't spoil it we don't worry about that do we guys have a wonderful evening God bless all of you yes you get back George traitor otherwise I'm going to arrest you and uh, time to say goodbye Going to have a drop of water. God bless all of you. See you soon. Take care. I really do appreciate you all coming in. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.